Welcome back. Uh, this week on Africa 54, we are bringing you a special series called Power Africa that is examining the power issues affecting the continent. Today, we have two excellent reports for you, beginning in South Africa, where electricity wars have led to a national outcry over mismanagement of the power monopoly. Wealthier residents are coping with power cuts by use of generators, gas stoves, heaters and cookers. But for the country's vast poor population living on less than a dollar 25 a day, the government's failure to supply electricity has switched off their lives. Tuso Kumano reports from Johannesburg. 63-year-old Sheila Twala has lived in this house in the Johannesburg township of Soweto for the past 14 years. With no source of income, she is dependent on the government subsidized electricity. But the current failure of the public energy utility, ESCOM, to constantly supply her and millions of South Africans with reliable electricity has left her fuming. We were very happy when we voted for our black government. We were sure that since it's now a black government in power, we will not suffer anymore because the apartheid government oppressed us. But now it's a pity because our black government is making us suffer. Sometimes she goes for days, at times a full week without electricity. And there is no end in sight. ESCOM, the government-owned monopoly, has admitted it has failed for more than a decade to invest, maintain and deliver new power plants on time. It says load shedding will continue until 2017 to prevent the entire energy grid from collapsing. Those who can afford it resort to using generators, gas cookers, and even solar power during blackouts. But for the millions like Twala, there is no choice. The constant power cuts have rendered her electric stove useless. Her refrigerator has become a food spoiler and her washing machine sits idly. She now has to use a smelly and unsafe paraffin stove for cooking. When she has no money for paraffin, Twala picks firewood in the bush to cook, but says that is last resort. This is extreme torture. The smoke fills my eyes. The fire is too hot, but I still must cook. I cannot even express the suffering that we go through in winter. The load shedding has also impacted students living in poor households. 20-year-old Phineas Ngomane also lives in Soweto. He says constant blackouts have forced him and fellow students to resort to Kang Light to study. This, he says, affects their efforts badly. It's not safe and sometimes, you know, the work doesn't become neat. You know, the, our marks become subtracted for neatness. So it becomes very difficult and even the, the liquid that comes out of an castle spilled in, into our books. Like Twala, Phineas is also pleading with ESCOM to switch the lights on and keep them on. Tuso Kumalo for VOA News, Johannesburg.